Hi, it's Miss Julie again coming to you from my dining room to give everyone an update on Quail Watch 2020. It is day 21 of our 23 day incubation of Northern Bob White Quail. I have the incubator behind me. That's the white box making that whirring noise. It's nestled between my pie safe and my chimney and it will remain there while the chicks hatch this Mother's Day weekend. I'm gonna give you a quick peek of the incubator and then I wanna show you what the brooder box looks like. This is the brooder box the Northern Bob White Quail will live in after they hatch and it will stay on my kitchen table for about a week. Inside the box, there are three things that the birds will need to survive. The first is a heat source, which will be provided by that lamp and it will keep the brooder box at about 105 degrees. And the other end, we have two containers. The one with the green bottom will hold their food and the one with the yellow bottom will hold their water. I filled the bottom of the yellow container with marbles because the quail will be so tiny they'll drown if I don't fill up the extra space in the water container with the marbles. On the bottom of the box, there's soil and pine needles and pine cones and leaves and twigs and rocks. And that is to provide as natural environment as I can inside this brooder box for their first week of life. So that's our update for Quail Watch 2020 right before the hatch. If you have any questions, you can send them to contact us at bbplibrary.org and be on the lookout for an announcement on our Facebook page this Mother's Day weekend for when we'll be live streaming the hatch on Bayport Blue Point Library's YouTube channel. I want to give a special thank you to my family for turning the eggs over these past few weeks and to Finney and Calder for helping me fill the brooder box. My family is very excited for these little birds to hatch and I want to ask everyone to wish them luck this weekend. Thanks. Bye!